When we first told you about the retired judge, here comes the cement truck, who built a backyard pool at age 94. It's 16 by 32. You had to have asked, how long could he even enjoy it? <laughs> Six years later, <laughs> here's your answer. Secret is don't die. <laughs> Keith Davison has reached a milestone. Yeah. <laughs> He's 100 now. 100. <laughs> and still asking the same question of Morris, Minnesota's. Hi. Kids. You ready to go swimming? I knew I had to do something or go nuts. The World War II veteran oh, with no grandchildren <laughs> was battling loneliness back then. April of 2016 is when I lost her. Alone in his empty house after the death of his wife, Abby. You cry a lot. That's just the way it is. And now? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Kids in the pool, parents on the deck next to him. I love being here. Beverly Metzger comes with daughter Zoe two or three times a week. And how does this compare to Morris's other pool? What other pool? <laughs> the only outdoor pool in Morris. The judge's pool. Has become their pool, too. Yeah! You know, it's a terrible business expense. It's terrible, but but it's one of the best investments they ever made. Three, two, one, go! An investment. Alrighty. Continuing yeah. to yield dividends. And we're celebrating judge turning 100. I know, there. A party with all the usual attractions. Okay. Plus, it was a lot different when I was 18. A 100 year old <laughs> guest of honor <laughs> who still plays in the community band. And he's playing the largest instrument at age 100. It's pretty amazing, pretty incredible. Lonely. You've been so generous to this community. No more. Thank you for enriching our lives with your goodness, love, generosity and wisdom. All I can say is that, that I'm surrounded by friends. And uh, what more could you ask for? Keith Davison dug a hole in his backyard. That's his pool, right? A hole. Happy birthday. Now is full. Dear Judge. <laughs> as his hundred year old heart. <laughs> Boyd Hooper. Yeah. Carol Evan News. Morris.